One of the fascinating characteristics of a chord is that it can be played in many different ways. Just think about it. We can start with an A minor chord in this basic open position, and then we can change it. We can play an A minor 7. An A minor 7 with a different voicing. An A minor 9. Same A minor 9, but with a different voicing. The A at 11. It is such an interesting approach, and in this video I want to show you how to play the same chord progression 10 times, each time with a slightly harmonic and melodic variation. We're going to play the E minor chord, A minor, the D major, G major, C major, A minor, and the B7. It's a definitely a beautiful chord progression used um, for a song called Fly Me to the Moon. Obviously, the chords now don't sound like the song because they're not jazzy. And so you will see as we progress through these steps and we add more extensions to these chords, we will definitely get close to the jazzy chords used in Fly Me to the Moon. Now, the first step will be to learn the bass note of each chord. This is extremely important because based on where the bass note is played, we will then develop the chord. So we have the E, A, D, and G. Then we have the C, A, and the B. We can also uh, play these bass note in a different position so that we can develop the chords in a different position of the neck. So E on fret 7, A on fret 5, D on fret 5, G on fret number 3, C on fret number 3, A on fret 5, and B on fret number 7, and B again one octave higher on the fret number 9. Now once we have the bass note, we can then start adding notes to the chords. So step 2 is very simple and straightforward. We're just going to add one note to the chords. So for the E minor, we're going to play 7 and 8. A minor, 5 and 5. The D major uh, is 5 and 7. And the G major is 3 and 4. The C major is 3 and 5. The A minor is open and 1, so we'll go back to position 1. And for the B7 we have 2 and 4, and 2 and open. So when I put it together, Now let's add one more note. So step three, we're gonna play a chord with three notes. So we have the E minor on seven, nine, and eight. Uh, the A minor is quite interesting chord, it looks like this. So we have 7, 9, and 8. The D major with 5, 7, 7. And 5, 7, and 7 for the G major. 3, 5, and 5 for the C major. Open 2 and 1 for the A minor. And 2, 4, and 4 for the B. And 2, 2, and 2 for the B7. Finish with the E minor. Now it's obviously easy to add a simple melody when we play such uh, simple chords. So let me show you a quick example with uh, D chords that we learned uh, in step 3 and then a simple melody.
So obviously we are in E minor, so I'm using the E minor scale to add a few uh, notes around the chord. And look, I always start with one of the notes of the chord. When I play the E minor, the first note of the melody will be on the B string for number eight. For the um, A minor, I will play the uh, E string for number eight. Same thing for the D major, start the melody with the fret seven. For the G major, start the melody on fret 7. C major, fret 5. Play this beautiful A minor chord like this. So you can use the chord as a reference to play the melody. Now, step five, pretty interesting. We're gonna play the same chords, but with um, different inversions. So we're gonna play the triad in uh, different positions. We're gonna keep the chords uh, simple. So we're just gonna play the basic chords, the basic three notes of each chord, but we're then gonna play inversions, meaning we're gonna change the order of the notes. For example, when I play the E minor, I can play it in three different positions. The position one, so this is the fundamental, and then I have the first inversion where the third is on the bass, on five, uh, five, four, and five, and then the second inversion where the fifth is on the bass, on nine, nine, eight. So, and the A minor chord. D7 and the G major C major and back to the A minor and the B7 and the E minor Now in step six, we are going to add extensions to these chords. Uh, we don't wanna make it sound jazzy yet. So I'm just gonna show you a bunch of nice, beautiful extended chords that you can use also uh, you know, in pop music. So I'm playing an E minor 9, an A minor 7, with the voicing on the uh, note G, a beautiful D add 9, and a G major 7, a C major 7, and the A minor 9, and we finish with the B7. and the um, F sharp diminished, and we finish with this beautiful E minor chord. Now obviously once we have such a beautiful uh, chord progression with these awesome extended chords, we can then add a simple melody. So I'm gonna keep the same chords, but then I'm gonna add a melody around these chords. Now in step eight, we are going to play even more jazzy chords. I want to kind of get closer to uh, some sort of a jazz chord progression. Um, we're gonna play a chord and then just one note uh, as a melody, just to make the chord progression a little easier to play so that we don't have too much space 
between the chords. So I'm playing an E minor 9, beautiful chord. So open, 5, 7, 7. And the E string open. The A minor at 9 with open 2, 4, and 1. Melody on 3. And then we have the D7. Now the D7 is kind of an interesting chord. I'm just playing 5, nothing, 5, and 5 and the fret 7 on the B string, the G major 7 chord. I'm playing two different, uh, two different shapes, this one with 3, 4, 4, and 3, and this one with 5, 7, 7, 7. Then we have the C major 7, and the A minor 9. Beautiful chord. And then we finish with the uh, B7. Now this is a dominant 7 chord with a flat 13. So it's 7, 7, 8, 8. And then just 7, 7, 8, and 7 with the B7 chord. And we finish with the E minor. Or with the E minor 9. Now step 9 and 10, we are going to add passing chords to these chord progressions, so we're going to basically play more chords. And we're also going to play the same chord progression in step 9 and 10, but step 10 we will also add the rhythm. So let's check it out and then I'll tell you more about it. So we are basically playing a lot of uh, secondary dominant chords. Uh, so if I play the E minor 9, followed by the A minor 7, I'm going to basically add the dominant chord for this A minor 7 chord, which is the uh, E chord. So I will play E minor, E major, and the A minor chord. Now obviously I'm going to play like this. E over G sharp. So it's 4, nothing, 2, 4, and open. A minor 7. And this is an A minor 11. 5, 5, 3, and 3. And then we have the D7. G sharp 7 with the uh, uh, augmented 4th. And the G major 7. Now, what I do here on this G major 7, I will then play this chromatic note on fret 4, and then I'm going to play the D minor, D minor 9, and the uh, D flat 9, so which is going to uh, lead to the uh, this beautiful C major 9. Now we can play with the C major 9, so I play this one, and then this beautiful uh, C major, again with the 9 and the 6th, um, uh, so it's 8, 7, 7, and 8. Then we have the A minor chord, and then I have a bunch of diminished chord on fret number 10. 7 and then I finish with this beautiful F sharp uh, F sharp minor 11 F uh, 7 F dominant 7 so and the E minor chord I really love this progression That's it for today guys, this is how we can play the same chord progression 10 times using different approaches. Obviously you want to take things step by step guys and remember to do a little bit of research. For example, let's say that you want to play a chord progression uh, in a different key using 
three different chords. I would say the C major, the F, and the G major chord. Just a simple chord progression. Do a little bit of research and see which extended chords you can play. For example, just try the C at nine or the C nine. And then when you play the F, do a little bit of research, F extended chord. And then you'll see you come up with different shapes. You put it together, you put it into practice, and this is how you learn new chords. Now I'm gonna leave you to practice this. The tab is available on my Patreon page. So enjoy this lesson and see you soon.